today is Tuesday the 18th of June 2018. I'm Keith War, and welcome to another episode of Homeless in Titusville and today I'm being joined by, what is your name sir? Mark. And your last name Mark? Green. Mark Green and do you spell it M-A-R-K? No, G-R-E-E-N. And then your last name is G-R-E-E-N. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 57. You're 57 or are you 67? They say I'm 57 by my ID, but the hospital says I'm 67. Hmm, that's strange. Yeah. <laughs> Makes uh, me 10 years older. Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to go with 57. You're going to go with 57. Yeah. Okay, all right. I don't look 67, do I? Uh, you look in between. I would guess you're for about 60, right around 60, if I had to guess. 57. Okay. Um, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Are you originally from Titusville, Florida? No. You're not. And where are you from? Erie, Pennsylvania. Erie, Pennsylvania. And how did you get to Titusville? <laughs> like, why are you in Titusville? I have no idea. You have no idea. Because D-Land kicked me out. Who kicked you out? D-Land. D-Land. And who and what is a D-Land? D-Land is Volusia County. Oh, the city D-Land, okay, in Volusia County. And what, where were you living there? Was it a medical facility? Was it a mobile home, an apartment? Oh, well. What was your living situation? At the beginning of the year, Social Security office cut my money off. And uh, I had to go to the office, which I did. And then they gave it back. But they asked me a bunch of questions. What was the nursing home in the land that you was at? I have no idea. How about the one in Jacksonville? I have no idea. How about the hospital in, in D-Land? I have no idea. Uh, D-Land Hospital, something like that. So you have some medical issues going on. Oh yeah. What, what kind of stuff do you have? What kind of health problems do you have? Well, I have seizures. Okay. You bad have seizures. Ones. Okay. Very bad Like ones. grand mal seizures? I could have one right now, just okay. sitting here talking to you. And what kind of medications are you on for that? d -Land. Dilantin. Dilantin, okay. And when's the last time you had your prescription filled? I don't have any. You don't have any. How long have you been without your seizure medication? Months. Months. Yeah, I That's keep dangerous. ending up in the hospital. That's very dangerous. How? Is, are, like, are people seeing you have a seizure and then calling 911 for you? Yep. And then I wake up in the hospital. That's awful. See, That's I terrible. used to have just... Little seizures. Wait, petite mall. Where you can tap me and I'll wake up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or call my name. Mm hmm. But now I have. It's called grandma seizures. Grandma seizures. I'm familiar with that. That means you can be out for. We've got the ambulance going by and it seems to affect him quite a bit. You could be out for five minutes, five hours, right? Five right. months, or never wake up at all. Right, right. But you usually kind of get a little what's called an aura, like you know if a seizure's coming on, you, you have a yeah. feeling that one's going to happen. My hands shake. My hands shake. And I can't control them. And they bunch up like this. Are you sensitive to light? Some people, uh, when, they're around, when they're around uh, those much. fluorescent lights, they can cause a seizure. It's like when I walk down the street to the bus, I, I, I can't handle the light because... I don't know, I'm going to say 15 years ago, I went blind mm. because I pretended to be blind because this guy was making money with a cane and sunglasses mm -hmm. like these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't blind, but he was making money. So I pretended. So, bam! God slapped me in the head. Now you're blind. So I had to go all the way to Erie, Pennsylvania. And they zapped him and gave me my sight back. Mm. Now I can see bugs up in that tree. My eyes are so good. The doctor did a very, very good job. Now what about your family? Does your, you know, do you They're have any dead. children? Do you have any children? Yeah. How Joseph many children do you have? I got Joseph and Jessica. How, what are their names? Joseph and Jessica. Joseph and Jessica. And how old are they? Oh, 
It was a big fly, a big horse fly. How old are they? Oh, going on 30. They were born in 83 and 84. So they're adults. They're old enough that they can help dad out. If, you know. Yeah, but I'm waiting for some security because they owe me four and a half years, almost five years, because they cut my check $400 a month. They said they solved the problem. Hmm. Don't give me the money. Yeah. I'd rather go up there with 30, 40,000, you know, and. I, no, I get you. I understand. A few hundred. I understand. That way, I, maybe I can take care of them. Yeah. Ideally, that would be the ideal situation. Well, your, your kids, though, are, are your kids married? Do they have children of their own? Do you know? Well, Joseph had, the last time I talked to him, on the computer. Not on the phone, but on the computer. Mm -hmm. uh, he was engaged. So he's probably married. Well, he's not a problem to find because he's still Joseph Green. Jessica might be a problem because she's probably married too and got a new last name. Mm. And uh, how do you usually communicate with them? Do, do they have Facebook or email? Uh, how, how do you I, do I that? I had a Christian friend named Amy and uh, I lived on the property in my camper. She caught me drinking and kicked me out. So mm. anyways, she got a hold of them. But since since then... So you don't know what their phone numbers are? You don't know their addresses? No, you don't know uh, any of that no stuff? No idea. And how about, do you have any brothers and sisters? They're all dead. They're, they're dead. They're dead. So that's your only family are your two children? Yeah. You don't have any aunts or uncles or well, cousins? I might have more children oh, okay. that I don't that know about. Oh, okay. That you don't about. know of? Okay. Okay. Well, might. Might. But so far, all I know is Joseph and Jessica. Mm. And we all got four names. Their name is Joseph Adam Green and Jessica Ann Green Jag. That's Jag. their both names. And my name is Mark Adam Green. Meg. Oh, I get you the the yeah. initials. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Because my dad bought me a, a 14 carat gold lighter, and he says that's because you're always spinning your wheels. Yeah, but I try to spin them forward. <laughs> okay. I ain't spinning them backwards. Yeah. Uh, Do you think your family would care that you're homeless on the streets like this? I mean, this is awful. You you, you got your seizure disorder and you're. You're homeless on the street. It's mostly been my entire life. That you've been struggling with homelessness your whole well, life? Well, there's been times that, you know, I make good money and get an apartment or a condominium, like down in the Cape Canaveral. Mm. When I first got down to Florida, I got a job, only paid 30 bucks a day. But Leon kept putting heroin in his arm shooting up the profits from the restaurant. I did dishes. The Nick bought the place. I tell me this ain't some luck. He bought it for $8,000, $2,000 a month for I don't know how long, and $7,000 for insurance. Two weeks later, Hurricane ripped it all to pieces and he got $150,000. Well, wow. man, why okay. can't I get that lucky? Well, I don't know if that, I call that lucky. I mean, you know, because well, then he doesn't have his business anymore. He only spent like 20000 to put the group back on. Oh, okay. And he also sued the newspaper. Okay. Because they put right on the front page of the paper down there, Moon Hut destroyed. Moon Hut did not get destroyed. Just the roof. And he put a new roof on, and I went around the neighborhood and got all my friends to come help take it, all the garbage stuff out of the parking lot and stuff. And he was a good boss. Yeah. He was a very good boss. He took care of me. One day... Well, where were you living when you were doing that work? Did, were you, did you have an apartment of your own? Did you rent something? Did you rent a room? When Nick started paying me... Let's see... He paid me 50 bucks a day. Mm. I worked 10 hours, but, you know, back then, 20 years ago. 20 years ago, when minimum wage was about 5.25 an hour or so. 
I think it was three something. Three something, okay. But anyway, he paid me 50 bucks a day. Okay. But he redid the parking lot, put it on a new roof, put on lights on the building, fixed it all up, put a new parking lot in. So he had to hire more waitresses. Hmm. Which he did. Five of them. Huh? Now my wage went up to a hundred bucks a day. Because... Well, if you were making that kind of money, you must have been living better than... Uh, that was 25 years ago or so. I was living in a condominium. And you didn't buy it? You were always paying rent? Did you have a car? Did you have a car and all those things? Yeah. And uh, were you living with your wife? Were you ever married? The, the, the mother of the children that you have, were I you married? I am still married. Oh, you're still married to her? I wasn't divorced her. She cheated on me. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna divorce you. When, uh, when did she cheat on you? 1990. After 1990. Is she alive or dead? I have no idea. Oh, you don't know. When's the last time you saw your wife that you're still legally married to? 1990. 1990, so that was the last time you saw her, yeah. is uh, when she cheated. Wow. Do you, have you ever had um, any other kind of things going on? Were you ever diagnosed with any other kind of uh, mental problems over the years? Or did you have depression or, uh, you, you know what I mean? Did you kind of depressed right now. Yeah, yeah. And um, what, are you, what are you doing about that? Anything? Do you see a doctor for the depression? You No. When's the last time you I seen drink. a doctor? So you drink. Well, when's the last time you had some health care? When's the last time you saw a doctor? Can't remember. Can't remember. Okay. They always ask me the same questions you're asking me, and I have no answer. Yeah. You know? Do you have blood pressure issues? Yes. Um, it goes up, and then it comes down. And how about diabetes? Are you diabetic? No. No? So the only medication you need is the Dilantin for your seizures. Is that the only the medication you're supposed to be on? I don't even know if I need that anymore. I, well, once you have uh, epilepsy, you always have it. You have it for life. It doesn't go away. Well, do you know how I got it? Because my buddy hit a car head on, shoved me through his windshield and the other car's okay, windshield. Okay, so it's from a, an injury or accident. Yeah, my head is scarred. Did you get any kind of settlement from that? No. 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 Not a penny. Not a penny. Wow. And like Nick, when at the moon hut, I told him, why don't you uh, claim the smoking section you got? He said, I don't have a smoking section. I said, not anymore, because the hurricane ripped it apart. <laughs> okay. So he got yeah. more money. Yeah. Mm. Did I get any? Wow. I didn't get any. Wow. Wow. And so how long have you been homeless right now? So just since January? And were you homeless off before? And on off and on? Seven years. Off and on for 47 years. That's a long time. So all of your adult life you've been homeless off and on. I've been homeless. Wow. Why do you think that is? What, what, do you, what do you think the reason for that is? I don't know. The government? The government, okay. They keep giving me my money back. And I'm afraid to get in an apartment with it. Well, $800, you can't get an apartment anyway. Right, right. You can't right, do it. Right. You're going to have first month. You won't month. be staying at Trump Tower anytime soon. On $800 a month, you know what I mean? Yeah. I doubt you could even get in the door with 800 bucks at Trump Tower, you right? Can. You can't. And then you still got to feed yourself, you got to clothe yourself, and so on and so forth. Well, feeding myself. How about, how about going to prison? Have you ever gone to prison? Have you ever been arrested? I've been to jail. You've been to jail. And for like, what kind of stuff? Because oh, you drink, so like... Oh, trespassing, open container. Open container. One time they arrested me, arrested me for uh, resisting arrest without violence. Okay. I get in front of the judge and said, but what? is the charge. So I just told you, resisting arrest is not honest. I said, yeah, but there's got to be a charge. 
It's got to be open container. Right, plastic. but that is the charge, Rory. meaning you must have ran away or you must have done something in their minds that was resisting in some uh, way, shape, they or form. Make up charges. That's what the cop told me on the way to the deal. He says, I'll think of something before we get there. Oh, so they were upset with you for some reason. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, five, look, it happens. Five that guys attacked happen. me, and I defended myself. Who goes to jail? Me. I can be the salt with a deadly weapon. A little dinky pocket knife. But they attacked but, me. But hey, you, but yeah, but you still... They attacked me. Well, they dropped was the there, charge. So they dropped the charge. So you must have been telling the truth, and that must have been found that you were telling the truth, or they wouldn't have dropped the charges. Well, my lawyer did this. He put his hand up. He says, Your Honor, what would you do? Right, right. Yeah, right. And I know what the judge thought. He reached in his coat and pull out his gun. Yeah, he pulled out a pistol, yeah. The judges carry guns. Yeah, yeah, quite a few of them do. <laughs> okay. do. So what, is, what, what have things been like for you being homeless? Do you feel that like other people uh, care about your situation? Do other people ha help you? Do they do they treat you kindly? You know, like, how do you feel people are towards you being homeless? They usually homeless? treat me kindly. They do, they do like treat Like you did. Okay. Right, I've I wish to, Jimmy was here right try now. Try to give you a little bit of food but and help Jimmy you out. Jimmy took off to go to work, yeah. and he said, I'll be back, and I'll take care of you when I get here. But, oh, so who's God. Jimmy? Who's Jimmy? Is Jimmy another homeless person? Yeah, he's homeless, and he's black. Okay. And, and, and you guys are kind of buddies? he's my best friend. He's your best friend? He's my best friend. So he looks out for you here on the streets? Yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I would like yeah, to meet The other day Jimmy. he came up and really gave like me a pack of cigarettes. And I didn't even ask him for a pack of cigarettes. So uh, I knew you needed some. Well, thank you, Jimmy. Well, that was nice of him. It was very nice of him. You know, I'm usually pretty nice to everybody. Yeah. How old do you think Jimmy is? Pretty close to my age. Okay. So he's in his late 50s, around 60 or so? Oh, he's, he's a little boutique like mine. Mm -hmm. Not as long as mine. Yeah. It's gray, so. And where do you guys usually hang out? Are you guys usually at Sandpoint? Are you guys here by the Burger King? That building over there by Kentucky Fried Chicken. Okay. It's abandoned. Right. And the cops even came up and they said, you know they're going to tear this building down. Yeah, yeah. I said, well, I would assume they would. Yeah. Because it leaks. So is that where you guys are sleeping at night? That's where I sleep. That's where you sleep. That's where yeah. Jimmy sleeps and several other people sleep. Really? Wow. So if you want to get stories from the homeless, yeah. <laughs> come over there at night and there'll be like four or five of us sleeping there. Have you ever gone to the, uh, under the bridge uh, over there and, and gotten some food from the church folks? I've been told about it, but I haven't and, gone there. Well, Monday nights they have under the bridge and some of the, these other folks that come by and they, they help people that are in a situation like you. Well, I was told you know. today I can go meet down here by the make a grade at Methodist Church mm -hmm. and then make a left, yeah. one block down, yeah. and there's a little church and they'll give you clothes and food. Yeah. But I don't know. I, I don't know where, where it's at. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully some of my viewers will send me a message here or, or they'll come by here to the park and, and deliver that message to you. What's what's one of like the what's the biggest thing that you're needing right now on the street? Obviously you need somewhere to live. Um, but what other kind of stuff do you need? Like do you need shoes? Do you need pants? Do you need clothing? Uh, do you need medication? What, what, what are you needing? What are you like really struggling with? You, well, you said you needed a ride to the Social Security office, and I, I did give you some bus fare uh, so that you could get to there, and from. I think I'm going to walk down here and try to bank mm -hmm. again. And see if you can handle it on the phone well, without having to go down there in person. I was on the phone, I didn't give her my ID number, mm. and whoever was on the phone wasn't a very friendly person. Okay. So this time, I can give her my uh, bank card number and my ID number and my birthday, of course. Right. And my social security card number. I can give her all that. And try to get this all straightened out over the phone. Yeah. I'm going to try. So, so tell me uh, a little bit more about your situation here on the street. Um, 
had you thought about how you would get off the street eventually? Yeah, get my money back. So you can get your money. Well, what is the plan? Are you going to rent an apartment? Are you going to get a hotel? Are you going to uh, buy a bus ticket? What, what are you going to do when you get that money? What's the first thing you're going to do? If they give me the... If they give you the... the, the say they give you... Five 15, years? Well, no. Say they give you $1,500 or $1,300. You said uh, 800 for the one month. I'm kind of looking for the thirty, forty thousand. 40000 Well, I know you are, but let's say they give you at least twelve or $1,300. What would you do with that? I still go to Pennsylvania. You go to Pennsylvania, so you you get a Greyhound and, and go to Pennsylvania. Yeah. To to be with your family. Well, that's real cool. I used to hitchhike, jump trains, but that was in the younger days. Yeah. And I didn't have this bag. Yeah. That this is where all your possessions are in this little bag. Yeah, but you can't jump a train with this. No, 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 you can't. You can't. Hey, listen, do you have any message for anybody out there who might see this video, like any of your family, any of your friends? How about your children, if they were be to nice see this? Be nice to people. Be nice to people. Don't so be mean, and don't panhandle. Why Why not panhandle? Don't, don't you have to get money no, somehow to eat? It's illegal. No, people see... I'd rather you panhandle than steal. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to steal, and I don't know how to lie. Okay. But... Panhandling is illegal. When somebody wants to help you, they will help you. Okay. You don't have to ask. Oh, well, I mean, I, I, I kind of get what you're saying. It, it was obvious to me that you were homeless. You know, you didn't have to have a sign. I, I could see, you could tell right off the bat that you were homeless. But, but uh, I hope that you feel that I've treated you with kindness and treated you like a human being. And yeah, you did. You know, so everybody does. Every, everybody should. Everybody should treat you that way. So, Me, my favorite food is chocolate. Yeah. I don't know why, just like eating chocolate. Okay. All the time. Okay. I got chocolate candy bars. There's one right here. Yeah. Chocolate candy bar. Chewy yeah. chocolate chocolate. Well, hey man, look, we're going to end this video, but I appreciate you doing the interview and letting us get to know a little bit about you. And uh, I hope to, to catch up with you, and, and, and I hope to hear that your circumstances have changed. You got your check from Social Security. I'm going to, well, I'm going to go down to the bank one more time and try. And try. All right, guys. Because all they got to do is, and the money will be there. I agree. You're right. All right, all guys. All they got to do. Thanks for watching. Yep.